So, hi everyone, it's your boy JD back again. Now, this is gonna be my last se um, series of what I'm actually gonna be doing. We're gonna be uh, trying to finish up some of the Ultra Nightmare runs that we have now finished. As you can tell, we already have finished campaign, we already finished master levels, even the master levels with the Ultra Nightmare experience. I also have finished Ancient Gods, which Ancient Gods 2 as well, and Ancient Gods Master Level World Spear, which took us quite the big punch in the face because it was really pretty hard. Now, um, I'm going to talk about what actually happened certain a couple days, uh, or I guess a couple months ago. So a couple months ago, I wanted to try out the Ancient Gods 1 off, off screen, off stream as well, and I wanted to try it in Ultra Nightmare. To my surprise, I succeeded. As you can see, it says awards awarded for Ancient Gods 1 milestone completion. And if you don't know what that is, is if we go to this right here and go to milestone, if we go to Ancient Gods, there it is. Embrace the madness right here. It says complete the Ancient Gods 1 on Ultra Nightmare. So we already finished this. It was pretty tricky because I didn't have the hammer. I also had no crucible either, so I, I was literally on my own. It wasn't too hard. Uh, the only things that got me like confused was in Blood Swamps, which is one of the levels in Ancient Gods 1. In Blood Swamps, there is a part where you have to defeat a possessed Baron. And as you can, and as we know in Doom Eternal, anything that is possessed is double the size of, of damage and the, they have also double health. So technically a double of everything. Instead of getting a possessed Baron, I got a possessed Carcass, which didn't take me too long to beat, and eventually I beat up. Uh, the hardest part was specifically uh, when I had to fight the the Seraphim, which was, in other words, a Samurai Maker, which I gotta say was one of the most intense fights because um, you also had to uh, fight a couple of possessed um, mobs, such as a possessed. A uh, Mancubus and a Possessed Hell Knight, and then in a couple of like other rounds, you have to act in the final rounds, which is where you have to defeat a Possessed uh, Dread Knight and a Possessed uh, Pain Elemental. Pain Elemental was kind of scary because uh, the the Lost Souls do quite the punch of damage because they take quite a lot of um, hits when you're too close to them. So it was pretty hard. Trust me, it was not easy. But I managed to pull it up somehow. And then Ancient Gods 2 as well. If I go to... Okay, it should be here. Rest your weary fits. No, it says lift, die, and reload. No, that's not it. Ended the madness. Right here. Ended the madness. Complete Ancient Gods 2 on Ultra Nightmare. Now, I gotta say this... Uh... This entire campaign in Ancient Gods 2 was not even so hard anymore. It felt quite easy, probably because of the hammer as well. But again, uh, the only part that was kind of uh, scary was the first level, which was the World Spear, because there is a there's a like a spot where there is there's a well where the wolf actually has to go in there, and you have to defeat two Mancubuses. However, there's also a screeching spirit. Which, um, again, if you hit that thing, you, you pretty much activate them to get more powerful. But I eventually found a way. I just had to use the BFG, apparently. Which, to my surprise, it actually works. As the words, everything became way too easy, if you, if you ask me. The only thing I have to do now... Which, I, as you can see, there's two, uh, two achievements missing from this specific right here. Escaped the Madness, which is the gold skin. And then can't perfect uh, perfection. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna do this one off stream because this one I'm pretty sure it's gonna take us way long. So we're gonna do this one. Escape the madness. I'm gonna do a small series of it right now. I'm just. I know this one's gonna be probably long for sure. It might take us a while. Just saying, it might take us a while. Um, I actually tried it before. I. I almost beat the game, by the way. I was in Necroval, Necroval, Necroval Part One. I died to a, to a Marauder, however, which did not end well. So you're gonna be also wearing this gold skin because we're not leaving until we get that skin. So let's get to it. All 
Right, so we're skipping cutscenes. We're not gonna be watching cutscenes because that's gonna take up way too much time of the episodes. We're gonna get the toys because why, why the fuck not? Alright, so here's the zombie toy. It should be over here. There we go. We're gonna need quite a lot of armor for this, uh, for this entire run. We made it this, this far, all this way longer than any anything else. We already got this golden shotgun, which was quite the hardest one to get in all of the, all the levels we got so far. But I think in general, the entire campaign is more harder, especially the fact that have little health. Nope, oh, I got stuck for a second there. We got a little slayer here. Nice. Bye, bitch. Oh. Sorry. And now we got the heavy cannon. Most important ones, actually. Again, one tiny hit and we're dead. Even from a little tiny zombie, two hits can actually kill you, so... Actually, no, three hits. Now we found the imp toy. Got your ass. Come here. Come here! Got you. Hey, Arachnatron is nearby. Um. Okay. Hey, buddy. Got you. Later, sucker. Great. Right here we go. Oh, there is another. Come here. Oh, 
Oh no you don't. Kidding me? Yeah, yeah, down you go. Oh, golly. The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. And just like that, we made it to the f right. And that's it for today. Small, tiny episode of it. We're gonna be doing these quite a lot, not too many of them. Like I said, it's gonna be complicated. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.